I'm at Ross. Someone down in the comments told me they had good pottery here, so I thought I'd come in and check it out. Let's see here. I got in a nice, big, pretty Yucca Rostrata. Pardon my hand there. And I just, I need to get a decent pot for it, but I don't want to spend a fortune. So I thought I'd check this out before going to like a big nursery or something like that and where the things are a little bit more pricey. I got the yucca and I started to vlog about opening up the yucca and a whole, it's just, I decided I didn't want that to be part of the vlog. It'd just be a little bit stiff. I prefer the vlogs to be a little bit more free. Um, this place is amazing. What? For a Columbia jacket? That's not bad. That's a good deal too. You know, I really like this brand, but it's only because they have sharks on them. <laughs> I thought that said NRA at first. I was like, what? Okay, I like these. Especially this guy, 30 bucks, that's not too bad, but uh, it's metal, so it's not gonna work for what I need. Actually, I don't think any of these are quite big enough, but they're nice and the prices are good. <laughs> I have some clothes to try on. Oh, look at how tiny and cute this is. Oh, we could put succulents in here. Hello, 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 whoa, whoa. Ooh, uh, look at that, $8.99? Two pack of clippers? And these are decent. Those Bond ones, I had a pair of those that lasted for years. Um, this is one of those rainbow glass wind chimes. I've always wanted one of those. Oh, it's only $9.99. Guys, can I get it? I'm a grown ass man. I don't need anyone's permit. Alright, so they didn't have much in the way of pottery, not at this location, but I got a new workout shirt and then I got some shorts it's really not very exciting but it's workout clothes and i was going to go to dick's after this to get a shirt and some shorts and it was right there oh and and i did get the rainbow wind chime and i got this facial brush it's only 2.99 i think it's basically like a manual clarisonic which is kind of nice because the facial scrub that i use it like sort of dries my hands out a little bit i think it's like too abrasive it has a lot of exfoliant in it so i can use that or give it a try and see how i like it, it was only 2.99 I've never been into Ross before. I always thought that Ross was a women's clothing store, but I think I'm thinking of Steinmart. Also might be for men and women, but whenever I've driven past Steinmart, the man like the windows are just full of mannequins and women mannequins, female mannequins and purses and whatnot. So I just I think I just flipped the two in my head. I'm very pleased. I will definitely be going back. I really I liked it in there. Prices were really good. See it. If this were the Yucca video, I couldn't just lay back, be relaxed, and talk with everybody like this. Because people be, they were watching because they want to see the Yucca, not all the behind the scenes, just everyday life stuff. So that's very, very understandable. Well, a couple days ago, I was playing with my dogs. I probably just started the vlog with this. And uh, I whacked my head. Really, really hard, like blackout, concussion. It was bad. And everything's fine now, but just haven't been getting really much sleep, which is normal after a concussion. With the video of the yucca, that yucca came in the mail, like, I don't know, a couple hours after I whacked my head. And I didn't want to leave it in the box, because you shouldn't do that. So if for it to have the unboxing aspect, I had to just kind of push through it. Everything's a little bit blurry, so that's going to kind of hinder the quality of the beginning of that video, I think. So y'all are understanding. I'm sure nobody's gonna hold that against me, but it's just, like I said, things are kind of blurry from the last couple of days. Okay, so I just got home, and here's the pot I picked out. I like this a lot. It has like a cement kind of modern look to it. It's not very heavy at all. It's a lightweight pot, a little bit more than I wanted to spend, but it, for what it is, it's a pretty good price, or really good price, actually. So. I think this will work. A little bit smaller than I had planned on going, but it's heavy enough, the base is wide enough that it should be okay. Oh, and that nursery I was just at, Greenscape Gardens, there in St. Louis, so if you're ever in the area, or you live here, I highly suggest checking them out. They have a really knowledgeable staff, everybody there is very friendly, they have a great selection, prices are good, I, it's my favorite place. So here's the yucca, which this video hopefully will have been out by the time this vlog comes out, if not I'm gonna have to, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think... That's going to fit in here just fine. Careful, whoops. Yeah, that'll do. I actually, I don't think I need to go any bigger than that. That should be perfect. I like how that looks. Okay, so now I need to drill a hole in this and pot it up and I'll be right back. The potting, that'll all be in a different video. A video that should have been out by now, so it's not me being a tease here. That sh it should be on the channel. Gotta say, I'm really liking the way that that came out. I love this pot for this. 
it really it just it has just the right shape and texture to it because outdoors where I have the rest of my cactus set up the pots are in are different shades than this but they have kind of a stone finish to them and this really looks like cement or stucco or something like that you like something has scraped the mortar onto it and I like that I think that that's going to go well with my other pots even though it's a different color since I will be keeping this with my cactus and succulents outside I love it this guy I was a little bit worried about but it is flushing out with new growth so it's going to be okay I actually just a few weeks before I ordered this yucca the big one that I potted up in that video from I don't know, just a video or two ago from this one I got this one a few weeks prior to that and it came potted up and everything it's bigger than the other one too but it just didn't adjust very well. I, I gave it a very, very light watering. It also, it, I didn't expect it to ship so quickly. When I ordered it, they were forecasting that it was going to be like really, really cold outside. I just didn't think much of it because I figured it would take a while to get here. It got here like in no time, in like three days. And I was gone. So it sat outside. <laughs> it was like five degrees, but it's a Restrada. They can normally handle that. But with the shipping and the rest of the stress and everything, I could see how that may have been problematic for it. But it's flushing out through the middle here, like I just said, with some new growth. So I'm, I'm not as concerned as I was before. But this one, oh, it's girthy. She thick and that bright blue foliage. I, it, this could be one of the sapphire skies. I don't know. From the pictures I've seen from the people who were selling this, it kind of looked like it was field dug. So I doubt it. But it's possible, and that's not, but the pictures I'm thinking of, I actually saw on Etsy, and I got this off eBay, but it looked like they also had a store on Etsy, but it could just have been people who had very similar yuccas, I don't know. Oh, but the best part, so that guy, crazy expensive. I made an offer for it, and they gave it to me for like $30 less than what they had it up on, but it was still very pricey. Whereas this guy, also pricey, but for what it is, I mean, great deal. And the big difference there is that it doesn't, it didn't have any roots. It wasn't potted. But overall, as far as just the form of the plants are concerned, this one right here, that's the winner. There's no need to compare though. I love them both. They're both just so beautiful. Right, a paradise bloom's getting ready to pop open. And it's a beautiful day. So I'm actually gonna go out for a run and then I think I'm going to hit up the Home Depot that's near where the trail I'm gonna be on. Just because I'm really curious about what they have. And the stores are starting to get in a variety of things right now. So I thought I'd just pop in and check it out. So I'm going to do a run and I'd probably in just a second be at Home Depot. They have these awesome, gigantic succulents from Costa Farms Desert Escape. Beautiful. Look at this Echeveria. $12.98. That's not bad. These are gigantic. This agave is what caught my attention, though. It's really pretty. It has a nice shape to it, but it's... A little bit wobbly. And the foliage has some give to it. A little bit of squish. I think that would be a risky purchase, probably. The soil's dry. I mean, you see that? Agave shouldn't be limp and pliable like that. It's just the lower foliage. Eh, yeah. well, oh, I'm gonna think about that. I like the shape. I have a lot of agaves. It's just this one has really nice form to it. I still have not really decided how I feel about the new setup at these Home Depots. What do you guys think? Because a big problem had been they would get all their succulents on these pallets and nothing would get light, but they're still... I mean, look, you still everything that's down here is still in the dark. So it's kind of the same problem. You just still have to get down on your hands and knees to look at half of the product. But it does look nice, I'll say that. These things. Stop it. Stop it. And how come they have all of these guys right here? Excuse me, I'm vlogging. <laughs> they have all these guys in these cool pots. They look nice, but only the ones in the back row have these neat hangers on them. Why? Why don't they all have hangers? I don't know if I'd want to hang that anyways, but still, it's really confusing. Oh my gosh, look at all of them. I really, they gotta stop that. With these, it does appear that it's just the spines that are painted. So, I mean, the chlorophyll is still active, but it's, it's still shading the plant. I don't, I don't get it. And how did they do that? How did they only paint the spines? You see that? Although that should be green, shouldn't it? That's, I don't, mm -hmm. yeah, see that? How? 
How do they do that? I don't get it. Genuinely asking. Anybody have any insights on that one? I'd like to know. Because, you know, the others, they just like dip the entire plants. This is just the spines. I hadn't really paid much attention to these, to be honest. Anytime I see them, just kind of walk past them because they annoy me. But now that I've actually looked at them, I'm a little bit curious. No, I'm not going to get them. I just, I want to know more. See, I noticed with some, like the pink one, okay, on camera it looks gray, but there's green in there. Whereas this blue one still looks like the actual plant itself. There's some green, but it was kind of gray in certain spots. Hold on, why do these have hangers? Those don't. What's going on here? Nothing makes sense today. Michael, at first glance, when I came in here, I thought that these were the tricolor jades. Like, just like out of the corner of my eye, I got really excited, but no, no, sorry. Still keeping my eyes peeled though. These nice pepperomios. I'm not getting these, I just set them in the cart so I could show them to you. They're so this is the je this is the jelly? Huh, I, for some reason in my head I thought the jelly pepperoni was something different. It's really pretty. And look at that. Actually rooted in there very well. I'm surprised by that, because it really looks like these are just cuttings dropped right into the pot. The last two, these other guys are really pretty. Nice creamy variegation, but just says beautiful home decor. Can't say for sure what variety they are. Looks like an obtusifolia, maybe a clausi, I don't know. Neat foliage, nice variegation. Oh, Look at that. Isn't that nice? Awesome, cool looking flowers on a peperomia. Don't know what variety, because again, just says beautiful home decor. But that's so neat. Love the flowers on a peperomia. They're not like mind blowing, there's just something really neat about them. The foliage on these aglanimias they have are absolutely beautiful. Look at how large it is. Beautiful. I really, really like these. I don't know why, because they're actually a little bit more subtle and muted than the aglanemias I usually see, but it's the underside. That is so pretty. Absolutely beautiful. And the foliage on this Dyfenbachia. Beautiful. Love the variegation and the spotting. It's not what you usually see at these big box stores. Not around here anyways. Same thing with these aglanemias over here. Hey, this one's got some flowers on it too. Oh, it is a beautiful day. Extremely windy though. I think me and my friends are gonna meet up and we're gonna go to the zoo and just because it's like a nice place to walk around. So let's go walk around to the zoo. They have really great landscaping there, but I don't think that there's gonna be much to look at right now. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, there's not much to see. I mean, I guess there's the animals and stuff, but there's some signs of spring. The, yeah, I mean, not right here. You can see the trees are starting to get fuzzy and pretty. It's all the flower buds starting to push out. I don't know. I'll try and find something nice to look at. Not the fresh. I had to pee. Small bladder problems. Have you guys seen Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon? No, I have look at that seen. trunk. This guy is old. The Recurvifolia, which are what I have in a video from last fall. And I was like, I don't want to plant them out yet because there really is zone seven. This is zone six. But you can see you can get a pretty nice looking plant once they adjust to the weather out here and everything. It's not... Ah, the sun's just wrong today. We're going to this bird cage from the 1904 World's Fair. And I haven't been in here in years. Hopefully there's some fun gardening stuff in there. Plant things. I guess there's just not really much to see when everything's dormant. Hey duckies. I love all the bamboo.
sunset tonight was really pretty. I know that that was an awful lot of bamboo. I'm sorry. Apparently, that's just where my infatuation lies. Look at, hey, hey, guess where I am? I'm not thrilled about it, though. My refrigerator's broken. Yes, again, if you've been around for a while, it broke last summer. So that's why I'm a little bit annoyed here. So I gotta come in, if they have a part, go home and try and fix it. But look at what's going on out here. See that? Not, the plants aren't set up, but it's still exciting. They have all the racks out. Makes sense. Spring's just around the corner. It's just like five days from now. Oh, I'm so excited. Seems like a long shot, but I'll try changing the air filter. Also, wouldn't that be kind of a design flaw if your fridge just stopped working as soon as it tells you need to change your air filter? It just started blinking that light this morning. Look at, can that again? Okay, so this time I have all these, so I don't need to buy any, but it just makes me so happy to see them at the stores. Oh, there's like a full-blown spider web situation happening in there. Like, heavily. Oh, that's pretty gross. That's really nasty. And she's still pretty though, isn't she? Look at that. That's a pretty flower. Oh, there's more around the corner. They're so pretty. I don't think I have ye- Wait, yes I do. I have that one. I have over a hundred Vandas. I need to just not even be looking at that, but it's just, just it gets so exciting seeing them at the stores here because every Vanda I've ever had I had to get online except for like two. I found at a local nursery that were looking terrible they basically gave to me and then the three that I bought here a couple months ago. So it's, it's fun. Nice to see things diversifying a little bit. This is the clearance section. Just so you know, it's not typically how the plant... <laughs> Yeah, they don't look good. Look at the size of these laurels. These are huge. Gigantic. I want to stop saying huge because, well, obvious reasons. Not a terrible price. These are really, really, really big. Like, massive. Just gigantic. Huge, huge. God, God stop it. Yeah, that's not a bad price considering how big those are. And look at the trunks in here. Look at that. I mean, these are like nice, big, bulky, girthy. She's thick. They very thick. Thick plants. I like that. God, these are big rhododendrons, too. I know they look sad. That's because the probably the wind and the cold, even though it's starting to warm up now. I bet these are pricey. Yeah, Monrovia, probably. I don't know about that. Not that I'm looking to buy one anyways, but I don't know. They're really big and pretty, though. Especially this guy. Here's that little air filter thing. I went ahead and I changed that. When I was there, the guy in the refrigerator department, he... Like, I asked him what he thought the problem might be, and he asked if the light was blink. I swear those were blinking just a second ago. Anyways, I said, yeah, the lights are blinking, and he goes, oh, well, that's probably your problem. It's like, I know, I see the relation there that the fridge is suddenly warm right when that air filter light starts blinking, but doesn't that seem a little bit much like that they would set this refrigerator up? LG would design this refrigerator so that the same day the filter light starts blinking, it's going to stop functioning. I mean, that's just straight up shady to be like, hey, you need to go buy a new air filter or we're going to make all your food go bad because the air, fil air filter was fine. Here it is. Look, at this is the old one. It looks identical to the new one, which you just, you have to take my word for it because I already put it in there. But look, it's not even dirty. So while I hope that that is the solution, I will also, like, that's kind of nasty of you, LG, if that's what's going on. I, I don't like that. Also, water filter is $50. What the heck? Let me tell you something about that. Okay, so I have this, you're, what, would you stop? What are you doing? <laughs> Come on. Oh my goodness, remember all that noise if you're ever thinking about getting a parrot. This is an RODI filter, reverse osmosis deionization. You can't drink deionized water, but you can drink RO water. And there's a kit that comes with this that snaps into here so you can bypass to a tank that goes underneath the sink. Really easy. So overall, I believe if I had gotten this kit without the DI chambers, it would be like 150 or so. This whole thing was about a little over 200. And it, I think it ended up being the same if I just did the drinking water system. But so $200 and it should... Right, you, you have got to stop, please. Here, come here. So for right around 200 bucks, that would be four of those water filters that have to be changed very often. And that'll easily clean probably thousands of gallons. And they have little mechanisms built into them so you can see how much they're cleaning the water. Actually, I need to change out my resin because this should say zero, not 0.14. And, um, and you can use it for your plants, not to deionize water. 
but just a regular reverse osmosis water. You don't have to change these filters out very often. And it's not like, it would probably be about 50 to 60 bucks to change them as it is. I'm so sorry about the parrots. They're just, they're being parrots. And my point being, so 50 bucks for something that does 200 gallons of water. And there's no, oh my goodness, birds. They're very excitable tonight. This is nowhere near the same quality as a reverse osmosis filter for $50 and 200 gallons. No, 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 no. So I'm gonna order the bypass kit, I think, for my filter so that I can use it for drinking water because I'm not gonna keep, no, that's crazy. 50 bucks and this would need to, it needs to be changed often. That's crazy. Oh, ice is done. Got this last summer when the last time the fridge broke because it was hot and I needed ice. I know need is rather extreme. Wanted, I wanted ice. The house is a mess, so I'm trying to not show. Dude, you can't see it. I got some Pellegrino. Not carbonated. I did get another bottle of the Perrier just because I but There are a lot of comments in the video saying to go ahead and use the water. The reason I was saying I don't want to do that is because carbonated water is very acidic. I mean, it's probably not gonna like kill the plants or anything, but it's still not ideal. But I'm wondering if when it goes flat, if it will still be acidic. I don't know. So I'm letting my old bottle go flat so I can test the two. I just, I just got this one for drinking. I'm going to take this guy and put that in the fridge. Yeah, so I'll check on that. Hopefully this works. It better. I don't have time to mess with this. I still need to finish editing this video. I noticed when editing the first half of the vlog with everything like up to the zoo that for some reason my camera is doing this weird thing where it's cutting off like a second before I hit the pause or the stop, which means that like the end of every single clip is missing what I'm saying. So that could be problematic. I don't know. <laughs> that might be an issue when I finish editing this. I'm sorry if that's what happened. It's always something with technology, isn't it? That's all right. It's just life. Things could always be so much worse. Try to not let the little things bug me. You know, just, sometimes you just gotta go with the flow and just deal with it. Before I go, I wanna give a quick shout out to everybody. I wanna just say thank you all. So many of you are so positive, so kind. I enjoy hearing from everybody, seeing your comments. It's been refreshing. The video from last weekend, that Walmart video, that really, it brought out the trolls. There were some haters out there, a lot more than I'm used to. I've blocked, well you can't block on YouTube, banned, you can like make it so people can no longer comment on your videos. Maybe two people ever, and then like I think it has a Monday or Tuesday this week, like 10 more people. And I used to be like, you know what, I'm just, I try to reply to everybody as much as I can, and I'll reply to the haters too. I don't have time for that anymore. If you're gonna, if you're not gonna come correct, you're gonna be nasty. Bye, bye, bye. No, there's no time for that. It's a nature, pet, gardening type channel. I want to keep things on a positive note. So while I was very annoyed by that, it really, it was nice how much it didn't really affect me very much because everybody else is being so awesome and so positive. And that's where I think the attention needs to be given. So. Thank you so much to all of you. It has been so nice, like really nice to sit down. Like, you know, sometimes I sit down, and open my phone, look at the comments, and I just sit there and kind of smile because I love seeing what people are saying and when they're talking to each other and to me. So again, thank you for that. I think that that's a nice thing within the gardening community is that it in general should be a place for kindness and understanding and acceptance because gardening plants is more, in my opinion, kind of a therapeutic hobby. And like I said, it's all just my opinions, but it's one where I think it's best when everybody's getting along and communicating well with each other. It's okay to have differences of opinions, of course, but you don't gotta be nasty about it. And the majority of you are not. Y'all are so nice. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for being an impactful part of my life. I really, Really do appreciate it. Next week is spring. Who's excited? I know I am excited. I'm hopefully, I think I'm gonna start moving some of my palm trees out next week, just like the windmill palms, more cold hardy ones. I don't know if I'm gonna get going on any planters yet. I don't know. We'll talk about that next week. I have some mixed emotions about spring planters this year. But comment down below and let me know if there's anything specifically that you would like to see with spring planters. Um, maybe I could do like one or two this year. But comment down below, let me know if there's anything specifically you would like to see with spring planters or spring anything, really. Since last year I did a lot of spring planters and it's just, it goes from spring to summer here so abruptly that the cool season plants just like out of nowhere suddenly aren't doing well anymore. I, I don't really wanna waste the money on, they're only gonna grow for like six to eight weeks. 
I don't know if I want to bother. Like I said, comment down below, talk about it. How's everybody doing? I hope you're good. I usually say at the beginning of the videos, it's a vlog, so I didn't do that, but I do. I hope everybody's well. All my social media is linked down below, down in the description of the video. I use Instagram far more than anything else. As always, likes make a really big difference, so thank you for that. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell, because I upload multiple times a week. I forgot that I'm not, I used to have like a whole different screen that would come up here. And uh, so I wouldn't have to pay attention to what the camera's pointing to when I do the subscribe thing, but I'm not doing that anymore. It's, it's, I did, it's you know, new habits, new habits. I just got to get into it. Okay, it's time to stop talking. It's been a long day. Oh, look, the cryptanthus is getting ready to bloom. It's kind of exciting. Little ADD moment for you there. All right, I hope everybody's doing well. Everything's going great. Life's just fantastic and beautiful for you. As always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.